Hello, my name is Peter Parfit and welcome to New Brit Workshop. This is the third and final video in my series about EV chargers. Mine has been installed now and I'm going to take you through the process when the installer came to my house here and then installed this particular charger. Now this will be the shortest of the three videos uh, because the installation process is pretty straightforward. But I want to show it to you so that you understand what your installer will be doing on the day. Now I've done my market research and I've chosen to install a pod point charger, but I'll leave it up to you to make your own decision as to which charger you would prefer. Right, now let's go straight away and look at the installation process. Well, the chap's going to arrive on your driveway, hopefully on time. And the first thing you've got to do, give him a cup of tea. If you give these guys a cup of tea, they'll really look after you and do a good job. Now, this is the order of working that I've laid out, but it may vary slightly. And it's going to start with the installer doing an inspection. And once he's done that, uh, he will then uh, start running the cable. Now, in my case, I've already run the cable, and that was shown in my previous video. This is the cable just outside the workshop. It goes through the workshop wall inside, and from there it goes up, along, and then eventually down close to the consumer unit. And normally the installer would do that, and here you see uh, our chap who's just preparing the end of the cable, ready for the uh, fitting of the charger and its connection to the cable. The, the charger is screwed to the wall, the cable comes in through the back in our case, and he's just doing the connection of the cable to the charger there. And now I'll show you one being done inside a friend's house. Now this is pretty much the same concept, he's now going on to fitting the consumer unit in my friend's house, and here he is fitting the consumer unit in our house and he's now making all the various electrical connections and now fitting the current sensor. The current sensor is there, as I said in the previous video, to make sure that your charger doesn't take more current than your house can supply. And that fits around the incoming live mains cable. After that, a data connection will be required. It depends on your charger. You may have to have a solid wire going to your router, or it may, depending on your charger, just need a Wi-Fi connection. So no wires required. And after that, we move on to the commissioning, and the installer will use uh, special uh, gadgets uh, that allow him to connect to the charger and simulate a car uh, drawing current from the charger. Once that's done, he's just got to do the tidying up, and then the handover to the customer. And in our case, uh, I had a, a verbal brief uh, from the installer and he left a little card, which is like an aid memoir, on top of the pod point uh, so that I could refer to it at a later date. Well, many thanks for watching. Take care, bye-bye.